All right, we're back with Brody and we're working on the muzzle and I'm gonna go ahead and do the throat and cheeks as well. Now on the bottom side, we're gonna come up from, so that you have a couple finger lengths above the breastbone and clean up this throat, seven F against. All right, and then we're gonna drop it down and we're gonna take all this stuff backwards. Okay, work around that loop a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. Here's the bottom of our ear. Be very careful. This is our 7F. And we're going to come right to where the just about a finger length behind the outside corner of the eye or the fattest part of the cheek and blend forward. We're going to do the same thing as we go down, angling it upward. And then when we get to the bottom side of the lip, I'm going to pull all this up and clean right up into that muzzle usually right up into the flu because if you leave too much of this back here what's going to happen is it's going to cause that beard to stick out and it's not going to finish very nice then i'm going to take my juice or a 10 blade on my volt and i'm going to clean up this lip stop i don't like any of this hair getting in their teeth and in their mouth keep that nice and clean okay and then to blend, what I'll do is I'll pull this beard back, not too much, because remember, if you're earlier, we talked about the fact that he is uh, lacking a little bit of length of muzzle, so we don't want to do anything to shorten it. So all I'm doing is kind of blending, pulling this back, not touching the length, but blending in the cheeks. And what that's going to do is it's going to draw your eye more forward. Comb this back. See, we're still not touching the length, but we're cutting in the angle here. So when I comb all this forward, it's gonna lay a little bit better. Okay, you see how that lays nice. And when you look over him, you should see a nice straight line. I know he's very dark and it's hard to see, but that gives you kind of an illusion. And then you can tell this, because it's cleaned up, it just draws your eye even more forward. And that's it. That is the uh, muzzle and the cheeks. Um, the only other thing that you need to be aware of is just, again, continue to blend to try and create a level plane here with your level plane here. And these, again, the skull and the eyebrow are on one plane from the inside corner of the eye to the end of the no nose is another. And because he's what we call a little down face, I'm going to tighten up the, the uh, part of the muzzle that is just in front of the eyes. And that kind of fixes his fault. One plane, two plane. That's it. Thanks.